everybody, this is quarantine day 38, and this is going to be the only video for today. We have a uh, little toddler now. She's um, just about 18 months old, and she's uh, going through the 18th month uh, sleep regression, so fun times. But good time to be home a lot. Um, yeah, so, uh, the major development today, uh, was Governor Walls of Minnesota is, uh, announcing a very substantial increase in testing, which, like, goes well beyond what he said we needed to aim for in terms of testing in order for him to feel comfortable starting to reopen the state. So the University of Minnesota and the Mayo Clinic, um, really two world-class healthcare organizations uh, went ahead and collaborated together and uh, seem to have made something. Uh, we're all, we're going to get both the uh, ser serological, serological test, which is the antibody test to see who may have had it and is now immune, and then also uh, like 20,000 a day, uh, like uh, immediate tests of, uh, whether, if you have, like, the virus in you, uh, considering we've been kind of ranging in the area between 100 and 150 cases, uh, positive cases a day, that would be, like, a lot. So, um, that would be a lot of testing. So, it seems like we, I was kind of confused. I'm, like, Minnesota's, uh, known for being a healthcare state, uh, you know, largest employer is like a health insurance company, um, in the state, uh, and we have the Mayo Clinic, and just pretty much the reason why Rochester, this town, Rochester, Minnesota, that a lot of people haven't heard of has like an international airport in it, uh, so it's just like, I was kind of wondering, like, why are we so, why aren't we just getting more up with testing. We had kind of been in the middle of the pack and other states had been passing us up. It's like, okay, we are doing, we're going to be doing some of the most testing in the country once this is up and running. So not sure exactly when it is. I'm imagining since he announced it, it's very, very soon. So I think that's really how we start to come out of this, both if we find treatments that seem to work, and then we're able to really cast a wide net to figure out who's immune and who uh, has it, and get that, get very quick results. Uh, if we do this right, if we do this right, we will be able to climb ourselves out of this, especially with the warm weather. I mean, it's not like you're going to be immune to it as a community if once we get to summer, but it's not going to be nearly as rampant. Uh, I think it's, I think it doesn't seem to spread as much when people are outside and having the distance between each other. That's much easier to do during summer, um, to, to spread out outside have social gatherings outside where everybody's kind of further away from each other. Um, there's going to be a way out of this. And I think with aggressive testing and aggressive uh, uh, um, treatment of people that, that have it uh, to, to really stop the death rate, this thing is going to lift its fear off of us. So, I know that I said we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. The light is getting brighter today. That is what it feels like to me. The light is getting brighter today. We have, we're working. I'm, I'm glad that they took the extra time to get this right. I, I trust these two organizations that they're going to have it and they're going to do it right. I, I kind of trust them to probably over analyze it a bit. Um, 
And that's probably why it's been a long time coming. Like, why is Minnesota so low on testing? We've been working on a on a really big plan. So, um, there's my thoughts. Uh, all right. Be well, everybody, and uh, let's get out of this thing. I think we're going to be turning the corner here in May, and uh, let's try to try to get back to normal lives if we can, but don't over rush um, ourselves in getting there. This has been hard. This has been hard for a lot of people and very tragic for quite a few people. So let's get it right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.